Good morning, everybody. I'm up, I'm awake, I'm dressed, I'm ready. I've refreshed the turquoise. Now, this is the last turquoise refresh we'll be getting. It will be another color once this one's worn out. What color yet is yet to be decided, but the turquoise is done. But you'll get to see it for another couple of a week or so anyway. But I'm here because I was going through Chantal's comments on her mukbang video because I love to see what people leave her. And there are the normal comments like, oh my God, what are you eating? You really should take care of your health. Holy balls, that was disgusting. I really hate the way you chew. But then there are the comments like, oh, that looks so delicious. Eat more. And people are haters and yada yada, just in the normal <laughs> sucking up her ass comments. But there was one comment that was like, oh, I can't believe that there are haters out there who upload within an hour of your you dropping a video just to hate on you and bitch you out and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, it's really hard to sit here as a reactor and a person with a working brain and an understanding of how the bodies work and medicine, science, diet, nutrition, to sit here and go, God, that Chantal, she makes great choices and Excellent, excellent food choices as well after being sick. How how was that supposed to look like? Oh, Chantal, I can totally relate. Guys, I can totally relate. I want a massive burrito bowl after I've had norovirus that's hospitalized me, requiring six bags of fluid. My stomach would totally not reject that. My bowel is crying out for a burrito roll bowl. That's all I can think about is the sloppy, greasy meat creamy dairy sour cream and cheese and a massive portion too because my stomach is just it, it needs a workout it's been shrunk down from lack of food for days i need to regain regain its former glory of being able to power eat a serving for two people and going back to kuwait sounds like a fantastic idea I mean, the expensive medical care that she can barely get over there because she's broke as. I really think going somewhere where she can't get complete medical care with her really her raging diabetes, I think that's a decision any adult would make. Totally. And as for going overseas after um, a month, after not even barely talking to somebody and getting married to that person and living in their home and relying on them wholly and solely for your every need because you don't speak the language, you don't know the place, and you have no friends and family there, totally responsible, not scary, not dangerous at all. I completely support that decision because that is a decision I can relate to and I would encourage my friends and family to make. Chantel does a great job living life. She is a role model for all of us. We should all do exactly as Chantal does because her life is, she's thriving. She has assets. She has savings. She has a supportive partner. Her health is just top notch. She is a speaking of health and wisdom. Controlled mental health. She is stable. She doesn't give you emotional and mental whiplash with her inability to make a concrete decision. She decides that's it honest to the day as the day is long you always know what comes out of her mouth is fact i mean people like myself who have called her out on her lies behind we're just idiots zombies bored housewives with nothing else to do with our time except sit around and talk to other like-minded people and agree on the same theories it's just it's just i can't believe i was ever like that she's so relatable I would literally make every decision she would make because they seem so good. I th is that the kind of video they're expecting reactors to have? Because that would never happen because that's why she has so many reactors and such a large community going, what the actual hell? Who is this person and why is she making these really dangerous, dumb, stupid, inexplicable decisions across the board, across her life? How many dumb decisions can one person make in one lifetime and expect to come out on top? That's why the community is the way they are. And yes, we do make money. We do make we make AdSense and some of us will have memberships. Are we making a living off Chantal? No. My rent and my basic living expenses are paid for by me because I get up and I go to a job that pays me a wage because I can do things physically, mentally, 
I can interact with people, I can sell goods, I can perform tasks, and I can do them for seven to eight hours at a time. And I'm valuable enough to them that they would give me money per hour for that job. Mm-hmm. They can trust me to show up and not steal time. That, that's how I make a living. My monetized hobby is to make videos and to react to a person that I find inexplicably unrelatable and just a complete crazy loony tune who makes the worst decisions ever. So that's my response to that comment. That's why there are reaction channels. And no, we don't make a living. We make money on the side. We have more than one income stream because we're not complete morons like somebody else we know. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. I am off to said job today. That's why I've gotten dressed and gotten up and got my day going at uh, 7. No, yes, yeah, 7 o'clock this morning I woke up without the alarm. Um, I don't get to sleep in until 2 p.m. Possibly go, what, what are we going to, what is she going to eat today? I don't know. She's going to be off the Chinese buffet for a while if she got sick from it, from the diabetes. I'm thinking poutine. She hasn't had poutine in a while or a chicken pot pie. I'm thinking this might be the next mukbang. Chicken pot pie or a poutine. Something classically Canadian. Yep, yep. Because um, that's good for the gut after you've had the norovirus. Yep, that's for sure. But anyway, I hope everyone has a great day. I'll be at my job. Then I won't be at my job. Then I'll be home. All right. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.